so this is just standard procedure um, back again with another video name of the pair that we're trading nas 100 but this broker that i'm trading with ifx brokers it is known as t100 ifx um, m so just to clear the confusion because one would ask why am i saying nas 100 but they are not seeing nas 100 on the symbols so today's balance 1.5 and if you look at the profits we're sitting on 14,600. this trade was just taken three days ago obviously just right after closing the trades that i had running on my other account on the previous video that i uploaded right into this page so obviously uh man the hebo smooth strategy strikes again and we are holding beautiful buys today so i just want to show you or break down a bit what actually happened why did i actually consider looking into these trades so it's pretty much simple i'm just gonna break it down for you guys as you can see man looking at the daily candle we are bullish strongly bullish so this is bias territory that's what actually uh, gave me the confidence to actually hold on this trade but let me just um, scale it down to the lowest possible time frame uh, talking my m15 where i'm actually going to be showing you just this and that there and there um why did i actually take this trade so it's pretty much simple and i'm um, just gonna try to also keep it simple as possible so if you can look at the behavior obviously markets have been bullish and obviously me being on the daily looking what are the things that we look at whilst trading with the hebus mode i did see that obviously markets leave or left a high here uh, as the markets left a high behind i uh, best believe that markets at a later stage had to come to the previously broken structure high and obviously mitigate this level so as you can see um the interesting part here is that the first candle obviously uh tapping into our previously broken structure high uh closed above and now the second candle also closed above so as we also had the second candle closing above in my opinion right here i was supposed to buy the markets on nas 100 and move with the markets all the way to the upper part of the markets so as you can see right here when the third candlestick formed that is where i actually took this buy and moved with the markets as it was moving to the upper part of the markets and we were so fortunate that yesterday we had news twice so markets further accelerated in our direction the main reason why i obviously held is that looking uh the bias on the daily time frame i uh, saw that markets were obviously pushing to the upper part of the markets so this was bias territory thus i got so confident with holding on to this buy trade on the nas 100 so this is it for today's video guys hoping to see you on another one cheers